Hi, good evening. Um, welcome to this video presentation. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. This post is going to be in honor of my sister-in-law, Hasi Weinstein's wedding, which is going to be Monday. A week from yesterday um, to Shmuley Rothstein and uh, maybe we'll try to connect what I'm going to talk about to the to the Hasana. So I'm going to relay relate to you a a letter from the Friedrich Rebbe that I that I read recently and I felt it was uh, worth sharing I've read uh, you know um, a significant amount of the of the Sichas of the Friedrich Rebbe but Recently, I, st I started reading some of the letters of the Friedrich Rebbe. I started from the first volume. I'm actually going to be reading from the first letter of the first volume that was printed. Now, the reason I, the reason I, I started reading uh, the letters of the Friedrich Rebbe was because I had made a comment to my friend, to a friend of mine, recently and the comment I will not repeat because I don't want to embarrass myself publicly. But he said that from the from the comment, it's quite apparent that you haven't read any of the letters of the Fidik Rebbe. So it was Moser, and I took it to heart, and I started reading a little bit. Can't say I read too much. Just a little background. The Rabbi Shalom Bar Levin, so he's a famous Lubavitcher, he's the librarian in the Rebbe's library, he's a big Talmud Chacham, and he printed many books and many Svodim, so he worked on printing the, the, the Igris from all the different Rabbeim and so on and so forth. So he has like a 15, 20 page introduction to the Friedrich Rebbe's letters, and he says that in his experience and his knowledge of Jewish history, he does not know of a leader that wrote as many letters as the Fidi Gerebbe, as the Fidi Gerebbe had. From the years 1920 to 1950 alone, we have over, it's esti he estimates that there's, that there's over 100,000 letters of the Fidi Gerebbe, um, averaging about 3,000 letters a year, just in the years 1920 to 1950. Most of the letters that were or, 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 practically every single letter that was written before that period of time, we don't have, but we do have the responses of the Rebbe Rashab to the Friedrich Rebbe's letters, and there's hundreds and hundreds of them, so it's apparent that there's even more than this hundred thousand, and, and, and Rebbe Levin says that he doesn't know of a Jewish leader that has written that many letters. Um, so the first letter over here is written to a it, so the Fidi Gerebe was born in, um, he was born in the year, hold on a second, he was born in 1880, um, so in 1897 he got married, he was 17 years old, then in 1898 he was appointed to be um, to a leadership position in the yeshiva that his father had recently established, Tem Chetzimim. So already at the age of 18, a year after he got married. So this letter was written to him. I'm sorry, the Fidi Gereb was writing. He says that his father had commanded him to write the following letter. Commanded, meaning he was, uh, you know, working under his father. And the letter was written to address um, some of the Talmidim that apparently had a yeshiva in Zembin. Jembin, probably is the correct pronunciation. Um, so he makes the following, sorry about that. 
So he makes the following. He, may, he, he says the following. Um, I am suggesting before you, the, the name of the person is not there. I'm suggesting before you, um, and I'm not saying this in my name, it's coming from my father, that the, that the Bochrim, the following Bochrim, who shall rename Nameless, as you'll see that he's uh, Hi, not, this is Vivian Maskwit. That shall rename Nameless, because he's uh, not necessarily going to say the most favorable things about these Bochrim. Um, that he, he that these bachrim should all go and eat their meals by also another person that the name was taken out as you'll find out in a minute why he was the uh, the chef. <laughs> um, so that these bachrim are going to eat their meals by a certain man's table, and he's going to cook for them. And he's going to, and the Fidika Rebbe says that we're going we're gonna to pay for whatever it's going to cost. And he says in, in Russian the amount of rubles and so on and so forth that he's going to give monthly for these Bokhrim. Um And then the Fidika Rebbe says something that maybe uh, principles of yeshiva should listen to. I don't want to be cheap. Um... At all. That's not the reason why we're trying to bring all the Bukharim to one table. It's not, not because I want to be cheap. And the reason why I'm doing this is twofold. A. Um, A for the Bukharim is good. Them eating together apparently um, is a good thing. All in one place. So more organized. They get the Fabrin together. B, because the above-mentioned chef is extremely, extremely poor. And he, unfortunately, um, is suffering. And we have much pity on him. Therefore, I want to do him a favor and make him your cook. And... With this arrangement, we have, uh, he quotes the Talmudic uh, statement, the Zen and the Zen and both parties are, are, are gaining over here. And then he again repeats, I am not going to force this upon the Bukhari to do it against their will. But, <laughs> he says, if they have even the smallest iota, of Hasidic character traits, Midas Hasidus, which is to feel for the other Jew and to place a, to put aside their their desires. Um, they they need to agree to do this willingly. Especially because there's a mitzvah of Gimilas Chasadim. Um, and if they will not agree, we will not force them. But if they don't agree, with their not agreeing, will be will be made very clear that the Chasidis that they learned had zero effect on them. And they are very distant from what Chassidus demands. And therefore, they need to fix themselves. And Hashem should help them that they should refine their midas. And the character traits of the godly soul should override the animalistic desires to want to have a proper chef. Yet, he goes and says again, <laughs> if they will all agree to go to the chef, but there will be one bachar which won't want to agree, let me know which bachar agreed and which bachar didn't agree. And may God be with you and help us all.